Welcome to day 10 of the 25 apps in 25 day series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, then I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we've got a really cool app that makes the very outdated volume slider interface found on pretty much every Android phone these days look way more unique and honestly downright slick looking. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will of course be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app shelf, which is a library of handpicked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth a look. But with that being said, let's check out day 10's application. So the app we're looking at today is called No Volume. And with the app installed and open, you'll get a notice saying that it requires accessibility access. So I'll tap accept, then I'll scroll down till I find the No Volume option, tap on it, then I'll set this to on, then tap allow. Then I'm gonna come back twice, then I'll tap to grant notification permission, which will take me into the app settings. And for some reason, I have to actually manually enable this notification toggle here to bypass that warning. Then I'll come back twice again and tap next, then next again, then once I'm on this page, I'll tap finish. Then we'll be taken to the app's main interface where we get a load of options for editing the look and feel of the volume interface. I'll start by opening this general section and I'm gonna to first toggle on this enable haptics option. Then if you're using a phone with volume buttons on the other side, you can enable this move to the right toggle. But because my volume keys are on the left, I'll leave that disabled. I'll then open this overlay settings option and I'm just gonna drag this vertical position slider until the panel lines up roughly with where my volume keys are. I can also tweak the size like so. And then once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm also gonna dial back this sensitivity slider, which will give me much finer controls over my volume level. This is actually probably too sensitive FYI, but I'll just leave it as is for now. I'll hit apply and now we can use these options down here to customize how the thing looks. So you can change the font for the main number to have a bolder look or to have that dot matrix vibe. And you can also manually increase or decrease its size as well. Then you can also do the same thing for the smaller numbers too, like so. And then once I'm happy with that, there's also a few other customizations available under this dial decoration section, but I'm gonna leave these as is for now because I like how they look straight out of the box. Then down here, you can also switch between a light and a dark mode. Then if I come back and open up this color section, you can see that there are actually a range of customizations available here, but they're only available if you upgrade to the premium version of the app. So I'm gonna get out of that. The same applies to the tweaks under this haptic section, as well as those found under this presets page. But honestly, I'm really happy with the free options that we have available. So I don't personally feel the need to upgrade. And so once everything is set, let's get out of that and come back home. And now when I press either of my volume keys, we get this brand new, beautiful, nothing OS inspired volume wheel, which I think you'll agree looks seriously amazing. Now, if you do wanna access the expanded volume panel, then all you need to do is long press and it'll show you the original volume slider, which you can then use to activate that larger option. And I will say, if you're happy with the look of the version that comes straight out of the box, then there is actually an older open sourced version of the app available on GitHub, but it doesn't let you change which side the volume panel appears on. And I don't think it's being actively supported anymore either, but it still works quite well at the time of making this video. So I think it's definitely still an option. But that's it, that is no volume. And with that, another day is complete. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.